So this is how we're gonna stop syncing photos from the iPhone to MacBook. Let's get started. So the way that it is happening is over iCloud, which is happening in the background, right? So essentially all of your photos, which you take on your uh, iPhone will appear on your Mac unless you open up these settings and then it's up on your name at the top right there. So when you go to the profile of your account, you can proceed by going to the iCloud and then you can find the photos section. So when you click on photos, you have a bunch of different things to manage here. So at first you have sync this iPhone and actually if you want to uh, or you want to stop this from sharing photos to other devices, just turn it off. Make sure that this phone is not synced, right? That is kind of obvious, so just toggle it off right here. So that is the first thing, but also below you have the shared albums. And you can essentially just, just create albums to share with other people and you can subscribe to each other's and stuff. So this is a little bit of a different approach because it doesn't necessarily work across your own devices, but some other people can access your albums too. But if you don't want that, and if you don't, to, obviously, of course, you don't want to uh, get the photos outside of your phone to anywhere else, then just turn it off in here as well, right? So that's how it works. Of course, if you have more devices in your network, then it's going to be a little different, right? You can, for example, keep it turned on in here and grab your Mac and go th through the same process where in the settings in the iCloud, you turn off syncing photos in here from the iCloud, right? So you can exclude only Mac from the ecosystem and keep sharing photos between your iPad and iPhone, for example. So there are some different alternatives, but this is how you can manage it. Only you can decide which of your devices will stay in the syncing process and which won't. So hope that makes sense. Let me know below in the comments what you think about it or if you managed to set it up the way that you wanted. Subscribe for more quick and straight to the point tutorials and I'll see you later in the next one.